got my next question. Here it is. This one, this one I first looked at, and when I saw it, I'm like, can't can't answer this question. Won't be able to. It'll take too long. I'll need I'll need a long time to answer it. I had to look at it for a while and think, how how can I answer this? Right? Sometimes these are these are questions and it's a little challenge for me. How can I answer this in a short amount of time and give you all a fairly good answer? So here's here's what I came up with. I had to go back and think, what would I tell someone, right? This is basically what I would do. Someone came from me for help on my local legs. What, what would I tell them? And, and here's what I got. Here's a question right here. Two guys kind of commented on it. Now, one was, the question and one was more a little bit easier about kind of explaining what's going on here um, if, if you don't know all this stuff I'm talking about or you don't know too many techniques and I really consider that to be a technique thing I'm, this isn't about a spot this isn't about knowing the lake to a degree here's what I'll say to any of y'all guys that it, it, it says a series about beginning a tournament anglers at the club level or how to get your five fish limit. I'm going to kind of go into the five fish limit thing or just catching fish. Let's, let's break it down into lakes you know or lakes you somewhat know. On every lake, no matter what it is, if I start naming lakes across, um, I, I'm just going to do it across... Texas, Kentucky, I can do it, Florida, it doesn't really matter. I can say, hey, Rayburn. Rayburn is gonna be, let's let's pick a certain time, right? Summertime. Rayburn's gonna have grass in it, brush piles. That's gonna be your two main things. If I said Lake Livingston, boat docks. Cedar Creek, boat docks. If I said Kentucky Lake, it's gonna be ledges right um, and or this time of the year boat docks as well and this is very easy to figure out like if you go to all these lakes there's gonna be a dominant pattern and then I'd say a secondary pattern almost every lake this time of the year that has a boat dock in it you can catch fish off boat docks boat docks are one of those things you can almost always catch fish off of depending on the time of the year so that's one of them like I said even doing this video is very tough like trying to, there's so much to that question, right? I mean, you got so many different times of the year, right? So I can't go into all that. Like, like I said, this question really takes looking at my entire YouTube. Like that's really what it means, but I'm trying to give you a, a shortest answer possible, which is still very hard for me. I don't even like it because you're gonna get so many guys that comment on here about what about this and this? And I'm like, yeah, I know that's the problem. That's in a very extensive, extensive answer it, but every lake's gonna have its have its main thing okay and then it's like secondary thing you got to know those two things for the most part the problem is is that so does everyone else okay so yes usually if I didn't know any different and I went to a lake and I just got there and I was like hey you have you have like a day to catch a limit and we'll give you like ten thousand dollars if I saw a bunch of boat docks that's probably where I'd start right except for one thing that first hour I get to any lake and I don't know it very well I'm gonna go throw a topwater a hundred percent of the time there's not a lake Harley I don't go to right off the bat and don't start throwing a topwater Two reasons. One, I can cover mass amounts of water with it. Okay, I'm going to be able to throw on fish that are feeding in the morning time. So I mean, I just knocked out two with one stone, right? They're going to be feeding. They like to hit a top water. It should be early in the morning. And I can cover tons of amount of water. Second, if they happen to keep biting that top water, I've already got the pattern, and I can run that pattern all over the lake for as long as I possibly can, and sometimes throughout the entire day. So, something simple, right? Something that covers a lot of water, whether it be a sexy dog, um, some type of buzz bait, something like that, okay? 
a wake bait, something to cover a lot of water. There's, there's very few lakes in the country that you can't go somewhere in the morning time and throw a topwater. Or you don't have to throw it around grass like on Rayburn. You can, or you can just throw it, I, I mean, you could pick out the dam. You can pick out places that have rock. You can pick out places, uh, a big point. Um, you can pick out marinas, right? Uh, the, the causeway to marinas, things like that. Things that are things that are obvious, yes, but man, there's a good chance you can pick up one or two there. And a lot of times they're big ones. And so that's where I would start. I almost, like, I start off so much of all my practices going and throwing a top water right off the bat. If I'm just trying to get bit, then I'm, I look at it and it's like summertime, right? It's hot. I'm going to go, if there's boat docks or shade somewhere on that lake, I can look at that as well. I might not hit it till 12 or 11, you know, but I'm going to figure out, start figuring out little things. What I notice with, with the problem with most people is this, that worm and that, that like Ocho style bait, that slow moving style. It catches people fish, but it, it the problem with it is it catches fish because they know areas and they already know spots to throw it in. To me, it's one of the worst baits in the world. Throwing a Texas rig worm, I'm saying this right now, is probably the worst bait in the world to start off a lake with because you're having to throw it and hope you're throwing it around a fish and hope you're throwing it around a spot. It's the greatest bait in the world for throwing on a spot it's the worst bait for trying to find that spot and what happens is is this is you ask me how do I go catch a five fish limit I would say nine out of ten guys start throwing a worm and I think that's where everyone has a problem and that's why everyone struggles at times and when I did that seminar this year and I told the guy I don't think the guy asked me a question about throwing a worm and I was like man and I, and I really started thinking and I told the guy I said man I don't think I've caught a fish on a Texas rig worm all year I'm talking about all year now I might have thrown like a, a shaky head worm or a Carolina rig but I'm like a, a, a literally a Texas rig worm I don't think I've thrown one all year long he said that's crazy and I'm like well, look I don't like bringing this up I, I don't I don't really want to talk about it but I've won quite a few angler of the years already this year. I've had a really good year. I think I've missed like three checks all year long out of, of 15 to 17 events or something. So what do you have to do is this. Now, a Carolina rig, that's a different story. Carolina rig, you can cover a whole bunch of water, right? So I look at things that can cover a bunch of water and Carolina rig's on bottom, right? I mentioned that. I've got a top water that's on top. So now there's two baits right there that I can cover a whole bunch of water, right? And cover two spectrums of the water. I, I talked about boat dock fishing. I didn't throw, say throw a worm on it, right? A lot of times I'll crank them. A lot of times I'll throw like a thunder cricket on them, a swim jig. Because in my opinion, if you're worming a boat dock and I'm throwing a moving bait, I can cover at least four times as many boat docks as you. Now, do I pass over some fish? Maybe, but here's the thing. I'm in a day and these guys are going, hey, I'm in a club tournament, I'm trying to catch a five fish limit. Who cares if you pass over some, right? It's not a big deal because you're gonna hit so many more boat docks. What that tells you is this. If I start fishing a bunch of boat docks and I start getting bit on the walkways or out in front of them, um, on the sides of them way up in the middle. I get bit on the three foot ones. I get bit on the 20 foot ones Like I'm going to figure out what boat docks are on way quicker than you are. I can throw something like a thunder cricket and Slow roll it. I can reel it fast. I can cover different depths of water faster Right because they're a lot of times they're suspended. So I'm going to figure out more about what's going on in a day That's the thing guys is I'm trying to accumulate as much information in a day as possible, quickly. That allows me to catch more fish throughout the day. That allows me to catch five fish. If you just go around 
throwing a worm or throwing something slow, you're going to you're going to get information at a very slower rate. And that's really what it's about, is trying to get as much information in a short amount of time and then try to at some point in time maybe duplicate that. So what I would say is this. Think of it very, very objectively in the sense of I'm gonna try to throw a top water, I'm gonna try to throw something on bottom, I'm gonna look for shade, I'm gonna do the things that that lake offers, right? And I'm gonna do those as quickly as possible. From there, I'm going to take that, I'm gonna go try to figure out how to do, duplicate that, okay? Remember, I'm trying, to, I'm trying to cover water quickly, I'm trying to get as much information as possible, and I'm gonna use the little knowledge you know of these lakes. That, that are commonly known to to fish a certain way okay I'm gonna get good at those you don't have to be special all these new techniques and all these new things you don't have to do that but you do have to step out of your comfort zone because I think that's the problem a lot of times is that a lake is offering something that you don't like to do I, I'm just assuming this because I, I see it all the time I see it when I talk to people and they're like I don't throw crankbaits or I don't throw a jig or I like to do this. I like to do things too, right? But that doesn't mean I will. Um, I like to throw a frog when the frog is the right thing to throw. I th like to throw a topwater when the topwater is the right thing to throw. I like to do a lot of things. I like to crank. The problem is cranking doesn't work all the time, right? So there's a lot of things I like to do. It doesn't mean it's always going to work. But I do know that sometimes things work and people are like, well, I don't really like fishing brush piles. So they don't do it. Then at the end of the tournament, they're going, he's like, man, I didn't catch him. Did you? I'm like, yeah, I fished brush piles. Like, I'm, I'm not doing that. Well, that's what it took to catch him. Or a guy's like, I don't like fishing boat docks. And, I'm like, and, and you look up and maybe half the field called him off boat docks. You just didn't want to. So you've got to be able to do all that get out of your comfort zone you don't have to do crazy stuff you just kind of have to sometimes go hey that is the right thing to do i'm going to go try to do it that's the best advice i could give you when doing all this stuff you don't have to have i wouldn't say 20 rods on your deck like i said i, I named a couple right and then a top water a crankbait carolina rig a thunder rig that'll I also, I, I throw a, a frog a lot, right? So I'm gonna throw my palm perch a lot. That's it. That, that can, those like five or six baits can almost get you through everything. It's a lot of power fishing, but remember, we're trying to figure them out. I'll say this, and this is what I learned a long time ago, a uh, very, very young age, and I started seeing it progress a lot better. You know, when I first started, I loved power fishing, and I and I still do, and I still normally go do that. Okay, that's still my my strength. It became a strength because I did it so much in practice that I got good at it in a tournament. And that's what happens is is you practice a certain way, and those practices lead to tournaments. And sometimes it you don't catch a limit all the time in power fishing. But if you do it all the time, what happens is when you fish fast and you fish baits like the ones I just said, you start getting good at that and you start learning more about that stuff. And what happens is, is I, I get on here and I talk about this and so many guys are going to the finesse route, which there's nothing wrong with that. And it might catch you a five fish limit. I do think, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna say this right now, there is a big difference between catching a five fish limit for eight pounds and a five fish limit for 14 pounds. Okay, the reason I say that is this, 14 pounds still might not get you a check. But the deal is this, if I have one more bite in there that's a good one, I could have 18. If I had one more bite on there with the eight pounds, I have 13. So my, my viewpoint is this, I'd rather go for this is the median, right? And if I fall off of that, I might catch 10. If I do better than 14, I might catch 18. Whereas if you do finesse style stuff, and don't get me wrong, you can win doing finesse stuff. But a lot of times people do finesse stuff to get bites. Usually if you're just trying to get bit, your median is lower now, right? You're not gonna catch as many 
you're going to catch a lot more fish, but you're not going to catch as much weight. So now when you do catch a big one, say you catch a five pounder, right? And now you still only have like 12 pounds, right? Sometimes you don't do even very good at catching a limit. And instead of eight pounds, you catch three for like five. So I'd rather aim a little bit higher and learn how to do this better than necessarily the finesse stuff. You might throw in a finesse tactic here and there to catch a fish or two, but I would I would tend to go this route because like I said, you're gonna cover water, you're gonna, you're gonna understand, I would say the bakes, basics of fishing because you're gonna be able to find fish quicker, you're gonna be able to understand patterns quicker and things like that. That's, there's probably so much more, but that's the, as good of an answer as I think I can give in a short amount of time. All right, hope that helps, guys. See y'all.